Sunnerbeam Partnership Network, which we may be able to work into some language arts assistance. But all we're asking the district for at this point is as some math work for about a week. We cut over $7,000 out of the instructional materials and supplies accounts. We did this by taking real careful inventory of consumable supplies and projecting ahead what our needs would be for next year. We also have come to the understanding that for the first time we may need to, in the lower grades, send home lists of supply requests to parents, uh, markers, uh, uh, notebooks, some of the materials the school has always tried to provide, we may need to look for some parent support. Um, teachers will make very conservative decisions about adding to their supplies, and we also would not be setting up many new classrooms, and that's always an expensive endeavor. So this particular line was able to be decreased by $7,000 or more. Um, within the Media Center account, we looked carefully at postponing some equipment acquisition and repair, and we also look to not fund a, uh, a visiting author program in the elementary level for fall. We took a look at our field trips and enrichment fund. This is a fund that started about four years ago and the Parents Association chose to make their financial support to the school be one of enrichment funding to the tune of about $3 per child. This would do things like cover the cost of a trip to the aquarium so the parents would need to be asked to pay for that dollar and a half entry. It covered costs like Chewonky bringing in the skeleton of a moose to a second grade classroom and not having to ask parents to contribute toward that cost of $45 or so. That uh, money was uh, very much appreciated and turned into hard dollars, which means the district began to own it two years ago. So we have had the privilege of four dollars per child available at each grade level for field trip and other enrichment opportunities. At this point, we would propose eliminating that account and coming to parents uh, with requests for support when children uh, have opportunities to travel outside the school. I've been told by many parents that they feel very comfortable honoring that request. And in addition, I've set aside a little bit of money to assist those families for whom that would be a problem. And I'll be working hard to make those funds uh, accessible in a real discreet and respectful manner to families that need help. Within instruction, we are also within that downsizing of foreign language, not looking at all to impact the integrity of, of the Spanish and French programs, but rather to find some cost savings within that account. And uh, we were able to reduce approximately a half a position simply by cutting instruction from four times a week to three times a week at both the fourth and the fifth grade level. The uh, foreign language teachers uh, helped us develop that and feel that uh, their curriculum will not be um, significantly impacted by that quarter time reduction. Within the integrated arts account, uh, there's a couple of cutbacks. It would be easiest if you could visualize this as about a downsizing of one third. Right now, all through K through three children get to enjoy arts opportunities in creative dramatics, poetry, and visual arts. And in fourth and fifth grade, two opportunities in visual arts and poetry. Either through resident artists that are on staff with us or through visiting artists contracted to come into the district. Our proposal, and uh, this really impacts K through seven services, is to reduce the integrated arts coordinator position by half, half her position solely responsible for the teaching of poetry. Uh, she's a gifted educator, and teaching of poetry is a real strength. To cut out contracted services to the tune of about six thousand dollars, and to offer our children instead a double strand next year instead of three of creative dramatics and poetry from the two staff members we have in creative dramatics and poetry. So our visiting artist program and in visual arts would be eliminated. <coughs> we are hoping, however, to protect it at the third grade level where we uh, have focused on observational drawing for the past few years because it's a level at which we're trying to identify children that are highly talented uh, artists, visual artists. And through the observational drawing piece and a juried um, process at the end of the observational drawing, <coughs> we're really able to find children that are showing outstanding talent uh, in visual art. And we would like to protect that particular uh, piece of the, of the outside arts. But that is within our budget at this moment. 
The, uh, we're also looking at, in terms of field trips to no longer fully funding the kinder concert program that um, the music department has sponsored for a long time, uh, where each grade level K through three does attend a concert sponsored by the symphony, especially for children, and would again turn to parents for some support in that regard. We were able to uh, cut over $5,000 out of the textbook line because uh, as we prepared for this influx of a large fourth grade, some uh, ordering of textbooks that occurred last year uh, was in preparation for large class. In addition, the fifth grade teachers have done a nice job of evaluating which text they really needed to have and which could be shared. So we didn't buy 20 more social studies texts when in fact some sharing could occur and this large class is a bit of an enigma, at least for the next three years. So there's a significant saving within that line. Um, we also cut uh, a couple thousand dollars out of some language arts title acquisition funding. We cut some money out of Office of the Principal Accounts around travel and conferences. We'll be very conservative about any uh, conference attendance, although I would like very much to maintain our membership in the elementary school consortium, which means trying to get catch up with those people uh, nationally once a year and we choose the closest possible location. Um, so within instruction, we were able to come up with over $100,000 in a variety of costs that reflected some downsizing rather than any elimination to keep our class size priorities uh, for the youngest children with the exception of some special presenting needs in fifth grade and then to look at any additions. I mean, that's, that's what we look at as deletions. Our additions would be the extra first grade teacher, the extra fifth grade teacher, and given the larger sizes of fourth grade going on over to intermediate, we are proposing adding a half-time remedial teacher at the intermediate level. At this point, children who receive remedial services through a chapter one teacher, chapter one teacher at the elementary unit, that service ends after third grade. And in fourth and fifth, they're still presenting need for many of these children. As class sizes get larger, the needs will be more significant. So we would like to propose adding that particular position um, at this time. And I think that pretty much covers the major variables within this budget. I would summarize by saying, just to help sort out all of these pluses and minuses that I've reviewed with you, if we stayed at current class size and program levels, um, watching these children move up through our school, we would have been coming to this budget asking for um, an additional staff of plus one. As it is, we're coming to this budget asking for a, a staff reduction of two, which if you think about it, is a net of three less positions for Pine Cove for fall with the same number of children. So that's what we wrap to those discussions. we be happy to answer any questions. Yeah. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, how many people would uh, would like to speak and ask questions or make comments? Could you raise your hands? One, two, okay. We'll start with uh, Jody. My name is Jody Sadloff, and I realize that traditionally um, these forms of budget hearings um, provide an opportunity for parents to scrutinize the budget proposals and probably more often than not to attack them. And actually I'm here tonight because I would like to publicly commend Barbara and Nancy and the Pond Cove team for what appears to me to be um, a very considered and thoughtful budget proposal under the circumstances. I, it, it doesn't escape me that there are some significant losses and I'm sure some that um, are made with pain. But I think under the circumstances, these people have demonstrated a real capacity in a crunch time to um, identify real priorities and, and make the best out of um, a difficult situation. And, and frankly, um, I'm basically very comfortable with these proposals and I just, I think they deserve some praise for them. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Gail Darling, and I was here also on Tuesday to hear about the middle school budget. Um, I agree with Jody that, that it's, a, it's a great job that you've done, 
Um, I would, however, like to, to talk to two issues. Um, one is, as far as I can see, that there's not been much change in the expenditures for computers. Now, that, that's my professional field, and so you would expect me to speak in support of that. But I have to say that in fourth and fifth grade, I would prefer to see the money be spent on integrated arts and on foreign language. Um, I say that also because my daughter, who's now in sixth grade, went through fifth grade absolutely hating computers because she felt it was understaffed. And she didn't feel she was getting much out of it because there was never anybody to help her. Um, I really would prefer to see foreign language kept it four times a week and put off computer instruction, which many kids are getting at home anyway through games and through they're learning to type through games and they're learning to play and, and, and learning through play. Um, I would also say that integrated arts is one of the few opportunities for young children to come into contact with professional artists who really love their, love their field. Um, and although I have great respect for the staff at Pond Cove, I don't, I don't think that makes up for contact with real people who are truly committed to arts. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there any other uh, public comment before we have comments from uh, and questions from the members of the school board? Hey, Loretta, we'll start with you. Yeah, I have just a couple of questions that, that are clarifications. What, when you say you are reducing a foreign language from four times a week to three, are you also reducing the time or are you increasing the time on those three days or is it, it it'll be 25 percent less time? Yes. So the time would stay the same. So you're not adding five or ten minutes to the instruction? It's, it's, the it's literally uh, a quarter decrease of instruction. And, and that foreign language instructors are comfortable with this under the circumstances? Under the circumstances, they feel I have, they have not expressed a need to uh, revamp, for example, their curriculum. They feel this is a doable adjustment for them. Um, oh, the, uh, the visiting author program, is that going to be perhaps funded by the parents group or is, has that been looked at or I think that what I we need to see uh, that go I know and and it's it's been a really viable and appropriate program for young children in terms of their identification with with authors it's also an expensive <coughs> program when we bring in authors uh, who are as nationally known as the ones we've been able to bring our thought Loretta is to perhaps rotate bringing in um, sort of nationally known authors in an every other year basis, and perhaps on the off year trying to identify some less expensive but very talented main authors, um, which we would not need to fund outside of any book sales that might support their visit. So we're not looking at saying goodbye to that forever. It's a very uh, um, well-respected program within the faculty and staff of Pineco. There are some parents who have taken exception, I will add, to the cost of bringing in professional authors every year. Uh, and we did feel that it would be appropriate to vary the national with the more local authors in a sort of semi-annual way. I missed that one myself. Yes. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Those are the only two questions I have right now. I'd like to make one comment on computers. I made this at the high school uh, uh, workshop. There is a program uh, that I discovered quite by accident at Harper Computer, whereby they will 